My name is Coach Michael Burt, and I have a very basic premise. I believe everybody needs a coach in life. I like to do one of my favorite shows called Good Coach, Bad Coach, The Secrets of Great Coaches Know That the Other Coaches Never Figure Out. I believe a monster producer is a legendary creature that combines multiple skill sets to dominate a market. Coach Michael Burt, the super coach, every week coming into your life to multiply your life and your money and your business. A lot of people come to us for one reason. They want some type of elevation, typically in sales, is they have salespeople that could be underperforming or they don't have a system, they don't have a structure, they don't have an accountability mechanism, or the sales managers are not equipped in how to coach their salespeople. So because of what we do this morning, Cool Your Printing brought their salespeople to us and they bring them to us on a monthly basis. And today we tackled how to become a person of power and influence. How to drive up you having possession of something that other people want, which gets you in more doors, helps you close more deals, and drives up your confidence. So I showed them during that session this morning, that coaching session, six ways to be in possession of something that other people would want. So hopefully they left here motivated and uh, with more confidence and more structure and more systems. And that's how we started the day. My whole concept is how, how do I become more famous? So more people know me because I believe money follows attention. And if you don't know me, the likelihood of you doing business with me is very minimal. Bill Maddox has been a tremendous uh, addition to our team. He's a tremendous asset. He's got a long experience of selling. He is an expert in body language and neuro-linguistic programming. He was in our Monster Producer coaching program, and then I hired him to be my director of new market expansion. In essence, he's in charge of sales. He's in charge of the follow-up, of positioning me, of signing up showcases, of all the negotiating. So Bill and I were going back and forth on, on ways to get people to the circus, on how to get people to the game, on how to sign people up, on things we can offer, on closes. So this is what great salespeople want to do, right? They want to go back and forth and play pitch and catch. And so on the bus, Bill and I were talking about different ways to penetrate new markets, open doors. I'm constantly asking him, who can I help you with? Maybe I know something that you don't know. Maybe maybe you need to pivot. Maybe we need to play good cop, bad cop, you know. Good cop, bad cop. Al, Al, any? <laughs> Al, Bill gave up on you, said you were a loser. But I told him he was wrong. That's right. So then he told me that, and then I called Paul back, and, yeah. I said, and I'm saying, Paul, yeah. coach said you were a loser. He said he gave up on you, but I did. This poor guy so confused. And, and so on the bus, that's what we were talking about, is we know we have something valuable. We know it's helping people. We know a good coach can change a person's life. But until we make the sale, until a person commits, we can't help them. And I tell people, I can't help you and get you to a better state until you commit. So what a lot of people don't get to see, which is what this documentary will uncover, is how difficult it is to sell an intangible. People see me and the motivation and the books and the, and the videos and the podcasts, and they go, man, it'd be so awesome working with Coach Burt. There's a business side of it to this, and, and it's tough to get a person to see the value of a coach in their life. Some people get it instantly and sign up, but a lot of people, there's a long sales velocity. They gotta talk to their husband, they gotta talk to their wife, they gotta meditate on it, they gotta medicate on it, they gotta pray about it. You know, they don't, they don't commit, so we gotta follow up, and that's a very tough part of this business because we're really selling an intangible. This is a product, this you can see it, touch it, taste it, smell it, but what I'm selling is a better state. A relationship with me is going to offer you more clarity and more direction and more confidence and more focus. And as a result of what we're giving you, you're going to produce at much higher levels and have greater levels of true enjoyment in what you do. And that's a tough sell for some people. What's up, Paul? Listen, we're excited about having you. Thank you for supporting me in Chattanooga. And uh, we're going we're gonna to take this thing to the world. And Chattanooga is an important piece of this. One of the best things we do is called a showcase event. And a showcase event is where... I'm speaking on behalf of a company. Today it was Churchill Mortgage, which is a company I coach. Guys, these folks don't know it. We're about to do a big event for Churchill Mortgage, one of the great mortgage companies in the world. I'm talking on zebras and cheetahs, so they're gonna get the zebra print jacket, which means I'm letting the tiger out of the cage. You know what I'm talking about? So hope you're gonna get some good, good footage on this. Give them something to talk about. Basically, they put people in a room 
We want to offer them maximum value. I come in and speak on a topic, and today I did Zebras and Cheetahs, the Cheetah School of Selling. And so I went to Churchill. They put 40 or 50 real estate agents in a room, and for one hour, I taught them the Cheetah School of Selling from the book Zebras and Cheetahs. Too many people competing for the same space. Okay? Real estate, mortgage, insurance, financial services, almost every industry out there is becoming commoditized today, which means there's thousands of people competing for one space. This is a win for them because they're able to get in front of their clients or potential clients and get lots of leads. It's a win for me because it exposes what I do to people who may or may not know me. If you own your own business, the biggest problem you've got is not that you're not incredibly good, it's now, obscurity. It's that a lot of people sad, don't Jack know you. So the showcase you event is where I speak people. at no fee, typically, or, or a reduced fee, to have access to that room. It's my job to perform. It's my job to deliver the good. It's my job. And then we, we offer them the opportunity to enroll in Monster Producer, or at least come to a Monster Producer class. So that's what we call the showcase, and uh, that was a great event. We had five people commit to Monster Producer, and in a day, uh, I look at that as $25,000 of revenue. They're spending $5,000 a piece to be in that coaching program for one year. They're paying $3.99 per month. And so if we sign five people up, that one hour was really worth $25,000 and a potential whole lot more of opportunity. So when you hear me talk about million dollar follow up and how to follow up like a cheetah, what I'm really saying is don't just follow up on your prospects, follow up on your dreams, follow up on your, on your relationships, follow up on your partnerships. Be, be persistent. After the Churchill event, we, we did something called a mastermind. All right, guys, we're on stop number three. We're gonna do, about to do a mastermind with our big monster producers where they get to spend some personal time with me talking about what's going on in their life. Are they getting the concept? Is it working? So I like to be accessible to the people I'm coaching. and That's one of the things we're doing this afternoon. Okay? And a mastermind is where small groups come to me that are in Monster Producer and we break down ideas. Uh, they may most likely are struggling with something. They want some more time and attention from me. Okay. And I always you know believe that if I'm coaching you, you need to be able to get week. access now, to me because of the you, volume that I'm doing. We build those a lot of people I'm doing one may not get one-to-one -to -one time with me, but I love groups. I, I, mainly hit on I love group settings where I can learn from you and you can learn from this person. So what I do a lot for people that are in Monster Producer, our biggest coaching program, is I say we're doing three masterminds this month. We may do those masterminds in Cancun, Mexico. We may do them in New York City. We may do those in Chicago. We may do them in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. We may do them at the Greatness Factory. But what it is is a chance for synergy. They can ask me questions. We can play pitch and catch. And it frustrates me when people want help or they want clarity or direction and you offer them opportunity and they don't take advantage of it. Do you really want help or not? So I tell people, look, if you want to maximize the coaching experience, get your butt in those mastermind sessions. You get one-to-one -one time with right. me, pitch and catch, ask questions, get clarity. Page, and I hear I this a lot, I'm too busy, I'm too busy, I'm too busy. Well, well don't ever let busy deal. get in the way of strategy. Because you may have a strategy problem. You, you, you may be going down the wrong path and you don't even know it. So sometimes you got to slow down, quit using the excuse that you're too busy, being fabulous, back up and, and let another person offer some perspective to you. And I'm really, really big on that. So that's what we did this afternoon in, in uh, Cool Springs is we did a mastermind for monster producers. When you hear me talk about the whole person, what I'm saying is we live one, one life. You have a body, a mind, a heart, and a spirit. All of that is part of one whole. And it all feeds into each other, okay? The, 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 the better you feel here, the more confident you are. The more knowledge you have, the more confident you are. You see what I'm saying? The, 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 all of this feeds one whole life. Accountability school is critical. Most people sign up for coaching because they need accountability. They started with good intention, they fell off the wagon, they feel guilty about it. That's why we need accountability. So a good coach should break that cycle. So We're doing deal. two when accountability schools question, every single said, week for people that are in our big coach coaching like program, coach Monster Producer. It's Nine a 15 or 20 minute session with me where I'm breaking down and deconstructing concepts. It could be today I broke down the explanation of services, which is a huge concept we teach in Monster Producer. Tom Love created that concept, who has been in our programs. And to me, if you don't have anything valuable to say, it doesn't matter how many people you go try to say it to. 
is, uh, you know, you look like a bozo. You don't have anything valuable. So we teach a six-step framework in how to explain your services. And so the, the, that piece was deconstructing that, doing some teaching, asking if they have questions. And we are constantly engaging with our customers. For all the people out there watching this, I don't believe in customer service. I believe in customer engagement. And engagement is a vested partnership between you and I where we value each other's skill sets and we're helping each other get to a much higher level of production and performance in each other's lives. You don't know what it is you believe. You don't know what it is you do as a result of your belief. You don't know how you do it different than everybody else that's out there. You don't have any proof of concept of doing who you've done it for. And because of all these things, people are looking at you going, there's nothing here, man. There's no opportunity here. Today was a good day. I like to be able to go home at the end of the day and know that I helped a lot of people, that the I light bulb went off, that I do believe a good coach can change and a person's we life. I do believe that we exerted so an enormous amount of energy today. To now it's time for me to regroup and go home and give my wife and my daughter good energy. And that's from a concept called crumbs, is that it's very difficult to pour all of your energy into other people all day and amp up at the levels we're trying to amp up and still save some good stuff for when we get home. So now it's time for me to get on the bus, decompress, maybe relax just a minute, and then shift from super coach to dad and husband and, and give my wife and, and my daughter the, the attention and energy that they deserve.